Good morning, everybody. How we doing this morning? Welcome to the 1st of September. And boy, have we got a lot to go over. A lot. Let's just say Mr. Lane has decided that he is done farming. Uh, with the help of his son and myself, we have been multiple trips to and from the dealer. Um... He's also gotten rid of all of his cows, all of his sheep, and needless to say, after harvest today, well, I won't be working for him anymore. If you notice, we have items in the shed that we didn't have before. Well, Mr. Lane, in his hurry to sell things off, um... He gave us the New Holland 258. He gave us the 4430 to say thanks for all of our hard work. Um, and then I found out the reason he gave this to us is it's, well, frankly, it ain't worth a lot of money around here. So he decided it was not worth keeping. We also have his... Um, well, Ripper, Disc Ripper. Uh, he gave that to us, too. And then we went out and traded off that that um, Poitna, or Poitna for this uh, Case International, similar to, similar to what Mr. Lane originally had, um, just because it's got a work, wider working width. Uh, but other than that, oh, and one more thing, I should say. He gave us the fertilizer spreader as well but other than that not much really has changed here it's once we get further down that yeah things kind of take a weird turn we have two fields ready to harvest which i told mr lane i would harvest his field first so that's what we're going to do we are going to go harvest his field. Um, he sold everything off. And then realized, well, almost everything. But he had sold most everything off and then he realized he had to, um, he had to, uh, to do something with his property. Um, because he still had one crop on the main part of the land to uh, to to harvest and we technically we're still helping him he's giving us items for helping him that's that's kind of how this works out his son didn't want to mess with it and uh, I don't blame him it's kind of a nightmare to be honest but let's go down to his place and we'll discuss what's going on because it's not going to be long and uh, we'll be ready to get into the field and get this crop out of here. We had just a brief rain shower last month, but then all through the beginning of this month, up until harvest, it's been dry. So I have a feeling we'll be able to harvest rather quickly and efficiently. It's, it's just weird. Uh, Mr. Lane does not own the two properties over here anymore. He sold the cornfield before it even got um, harvested. But uh, we really, we don't have that much. Actually, we're going to park over here out of the way. Because the harvester we have to use is in here. Um, this auger wagon is actually ours he did give us the auger wagon but the john deere is his uh it's still his and uh will continue to be in fact he said after harvest he's going to sell it because he has no use for it i would buy it but i have absolutely no reason to own this thing we've got plenty of power for the stuff that we have so uh it's just not worth it and besides i don't have the money um, 
I did not have to take out a loan for any of this. So, a very positive thing there. But we're going to pull up here and uh, get this kind of set up. I'm not sure where. Maybe right over here. That might be a good spot. Yeah, I think this will be a good spot. Then we can just unload into it when we're full. But we do have to harvest this field right here. Um, it's a big field, and it's probably going to take all day to get it harvested. Uh, now, we, like I said, we sold that field over by the farm, or over by the city, and Mr. Lane exchanged it. We gave him the cash money for this field, and this, this is our field now. We own this grass field. We are not going to keep it grass. We will not be needing that much grass. So, we're going to tear this field up along with all of our others. Um, I looked up the price and the value. He did us, he did us an, uh, an awesome favor. Uh, but yeah, it's weird. There's, there's nothing here. Nothing going on. I've been told that the, the wool in here is ours to take and sell for us so we're gonna do that and then uh, down in the cow barn there's some hay there that it's ours so when we start to need hay we can just go get it but he got in a big hurry and he sold everything off and well he sold the John Deere and the header and well as you can see everything and so he had to go find an old combine for us to use just to get this harvested. Now, he said this thing cost him six grand. Um, he had a guy out here and, and looked through it, and the guy said it will work to harvest one last time. So, that's what it's going to do. It's going to, to work to harvest one last time here and it just I guess barely fits in there oh and the seed and the fertilizer is ours uh, we will get what's left because after we harvest this field Mr. Lane has a contractor coming in who is going to direct drill it to CRP grass it's uh basically a type of grass that you just you just leave it be it doesn't have any other purpose than just to be left out so this thing is supposed to be ready to go we have everything we need and um, it's a lot of change I'm scratching my head because the last couple of weeks there at the end of August, we were working our butts off trying to figure out what we're going to do. Um, oh, all of the all of the harvest here is going to go in the silo, and uh, Mr. Lane has a private contractor who's going to take it to be done. Now he is keeping the property, uh, but just this property right here the main house and this area right here he is not going to keep any more than that okay let's see how this works out here now we need to make sure we're not dropping yeah that's what we need to make sure we're not dropping we need it to be spread there we go okay well let's get to it um Like I was saying, he's not keeping a whole bunch of stuff. He's, he's letting a lot of it go. There's just... All of the property, you know, that we were harvesting and we were farming, well, it's gone. It just... He said, let it go. He's not even going to rent it. And this, they told him they could put it in CRP, so he keeps the, the main farm that he started with. Now, he's going to go live with his son, and I guess it's a fair distance away. Um, 
All we have to do is just keep an eye out over here. You know, they're going to come visit. And they're going to come stay in the houses, his son and him. And uh, I guess the daughter's going to come out. and They might come out and just ride four-wheelers around or do whatever. But otherwise, this farm is, well, it's going to be abandoned. There's not going to be much here. Um, we have full access to the farm if we need to use the sheds for storage. Mr. Lane said that is perfectly fine. So if we need to store bales over here until they're ripe, we can. Once he gets the silo empty, we are free to use the silo if we need it. So, um, you know, there's some benefits and some perks for us that, um, you know, I'm glad that we worked for him. I'm glad that he is taking care of us the way that he is. And... I'll be honest, I'm, I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss working for him and uh, being around here. So, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens, though. He said I'm, there's a couple of things we might have to deal with. Uh, minor things that he, he just told us don't worry about it. Uh, such as... Oh, ooh, we better... We better cut back across here, hadn't we? Or we're going to get stuck out here in the field. We might have to take this field in sections, but if we do, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, little minor things like keeping an eye on this field and making sure that, you know, it just kind of stays the way it is. Keeping weeds out of the grass. Uh, the grass that will be grown in here is a special type. Um, that's supposed to promote wilderness and doesn't doesn't get harvested, doesn't have to be messed with. You just leave it. And apparently they pay you oh, I need to take a bigger swath here. Uh, pay you to take just leave it there and, and not mess with it, so. I just agreed and uh, said okay. It's whatever he, you know, whatever he wants to do, that's, uh, that's what it'll be. I don't know what he's going to do with the tractor or this combine afterwards. Um, I, you know, I hate to say it, I'm kind of curious to find out what he is going to do with it. it. It's not that bad of an old combine, but, uh, we've got a good one that, that works really well, so... It doesn't really benefit us any, but maybe there's somebody out there that needs one. I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay. We ought to be getting pretty full. There we go. Now, we should be able to just turn like this get right up here close I'm gonna have to go out and view this this way there we go perfect now I think it'll fit oh yeah yeah it'll fit just fine looky there absolutely perfect well I'm gonna keep cutting on this and uh, we'll see you here in a little bit
Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, well, we're making an amazing headway on this. Um, Mr. Lane saw that there was rain in the forecast, so he went and uh, had his son hop in the gleaner and then had the dealership drop off this massive claws combine. I, it, it's the one that's been sitting there. He's renting it, I guess. And um, I just I just got done do, driving it, and man, that is that's an amazing combine. But his son's waiting on me, so I got to get this emptied out and then get out there to him. It has made short work, and I mean short work of this field. I can't believe it. It's it's amazing to be honest. There we go. Let's get out there and get that cleaner unloaded. And then, um, we can hop back in that claws and, uh, and go to town. Man, I'll tell you, that's something else. That's like driving a luxury Cadillac right there. Very, very nice. see here should be about right maybe oh fooey it don't like it that's okay we'll, we'll spin around here get on the other side it just a little bit too tall for that side so it just can't grab it that's kind of a bad deal let's see what's going on there it goes it was just having a hard time reaching it Just having a hard time reaching it. Okay, we'll get Mr. L okay, we've got Mr. Lane's son on his way. Now we can, uh, we'll just leave this kind of right out here in the middle. We can uh, just go ahead and get in the other combine there. And, uh, yeah, get to going. Boy, this thing is amazing. Look how big this is. I think this is one of the largest combines I've ever been in. And it just, it just goes. Oops. I've ever pay attention to what I'm doing here. It just goes. It just is a cutting, cutting machine. Uh, even for being used, uh, slightly used, it it just it gets right with it. I will tell you, I'm uh, I'm impressed by it. I really am. And it is enormous when it comes to a machine. I just cannot believe how big this thing is. But we're going to try to do as much cutting with this as we can and keep an eye over there on the, the old gleaner and Mr. Lane's son to make sure he gets, uh, he keeps going. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure thankful Mr. Lane called that in. He's sitting up there in the house kind of watching the weather and he said he'd let us know if he saw anything that looked kind of out of place. But, uh, yeah. I, uh, I would love to have this combine, but Mr. Lane told me how much this combine costs and I, I, I think I'll pass. I think I'm in pretty darn good shape. This is a rather expensive combine, and then the header trailer that they brought out with it is, uh, it's pretty good sized. 
I'm glad we had room in the field for the uh, guy that delivered it to uh, open the header trailer up because we wouldn't have we wouldn't have been able to get it done without it. There we go. Boy, that looks real good. It's hard to see all the way across this giant header here. But uh, it just, I'm amazed at how well this just works its way through the field and just cuts. I wish I could use it on my ground, but unfortunately, no, we'll have to use our, our combine. It was sure would be nice, though, wouldn't it? still got room. We're not completely full yet. Not full yet. Maybe we can get a little bit more in the bin here. Uh, we should be able to fill our bin and take a larger chunk of the field than that gleaner can because this can process grain at an amazing rate. I, I'm impressed by its capacity. Uh, there's a little squeak down there somewhere I can't identify, but maybe that's just normal. And I haven't figured out, of course, don't need the upper augers, but I haven't figured out how to turn those on yet. Look at the old gleaner over there, just a putting away. We're almost full. I don't know if we can get all this right here. Maybe we can. We're going to try anyway. There's not that much left. Just a little jag and a, and a swath. Yeah, I think we're going to get it all. Man, look at that. Isn't that amazing? And I think this will be it for this side. You know, I hate to say it, but this... Uh, I, I haven't used any of the newer John Deere combines or anything. But this kind of puts that John Deere... Well, kind of to shame. It really doesn't. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this up and get this unloaded. And then we're going to have to go over there and get that other unloaded again. There we go. I'll go ahead and just let this sit here and unload. Let's hop in the tractor. Wow! Man, look at the size of that combine. Oh, I hope he doesn't stop on the wrong direction. Oh, well. Well, anyway, I'll catch up with you when we've got this finished. All right, everybody. Well, I'm back. Uh, and I'm back in the gleaner. Uh... Well, they finished that up. They said, well, there's so little left, you can just finish this up. And they called the dealership and had the dealership come get that clause and take it back. So, uh, yep, it's just me and the old gleaner again. And we're just uh, working away here. Trying to get this uh, little bit of harvest finished up. Now, when we finish up, I think I'm going to uh, try cutting a jag if it ain't raining. I'm going to try cutting a jag before the weather gets bad uh, on my property. Because, uh, yeah, I definitely want to do everything I can to get caught up myself. But boy, it's something different coming back to this this old gleaner versus that giant claws combine. But uh, hey, this works just fine. It uh, it does the job. It's cutting this canola, so that's all that really matters, you know. 
That's all that really matters. Well, we don't have a whole bunch left. But yeah, I would like to at least... I mean, if nothing else, we could get our combine moved down to our first field. Maybe cut out an opening. Put some breather strips in. So if it does really get to raining, we can... Um, we can get in and out of there. Uh, you know, let the wind blow through a little bit. Because I know that helps. You know, of course, every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. But we got to finish this one and get a little bit closer to uh, working on our stuff first. That's going to be the biggie, is getting everything finished up first. And we're close. We're not too far away from being done here. There's just a little strip. And, uh, yeah, that'll be the end of it. We can say we're done to this harvest. So, I'll be curious to see... Maybe we can make it down. I doubt it. I bet we won't make it all the way down. Might come close. But as far as Mr. Lane's harvest goes, this ended up being a lot better for us than I expected. There we go. We're 100%. I was not expecting this. Not, not for him to bring out an extra helping hand. Uh, that kind of blew my mind. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this cart. There we go. Oh boy, that cart's almost full. We're really filling her up. Man. Okay. Let's go get that last little bit. And maybe it'll fit on the cart. Maybe. I bet it will. There can't be very much here. But yeah, I figured this would take us all day, and it's uh, barely even noon. We'll have to look on our phone and see how far away this rain is. If the rain's far enough away, we'll go get ourselves set up, at least get started. Because uh, getting started is better than not at all. That's better than not at all. Oh, yeah, we're almost full. But if we can dump what little bit's left in here off on that cart. Well, come on. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, we'll just go put this away. Ooh, zippy little thing. Quite the zippy little combine. I like it. I really do like this combine. We'll have to uh, we'll have to talk to Mr. Lane and see what he he wants to do with it. Maybe we could have it as a spare, kind of like we had with our international. I think that would be kind of a neat deal. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know don't really have enough, you know, a whole bunch of money to spend. That's if we don't crash it trying to get it back in this building. But this is where he had it. This is where he wants it. So we're going to put it back in here. There we go. That's good enough. That's a uh, good little combine. Man, it did a great job. Well, Close the doors up. Let's go get this grain put away. Oh, it's going to be a long walk out here. 
But I, I think that's the fastest this field's ever been harvested. Um, half a day to get this done. That, that's amazing. I, I'm, I'm sincerely impressed. Well, this will be the last time this has uh, 15 years is how long it'll be. Until they can do anything with this ground. That's how the CRP works, is it takes 15 years to, uh, to redo everything, or, well, to have everything, I guess you could say, done. That's, uh, that's quite a bit of time. Oh, boy, I got that. That's so heavy. I think the only thing that I have that could pull this is, um, well, it's going to be the International. It's just going to be so heavy and everything. The International is the only thing that's going to be able to pull this that I could think of. Now, I might be able to do it with the White. I don't know. I know we've done it before. So we'll just have to wait and see. But for now, we're not going to use it uh, due to the weather. Uh, it doesn't have a cover. And since it don't have a cover, I just... I would prefer just to park it in the shed over here for now. And we'll come get it with our own, in our own time and take it home. But, yep, that's what we did. That's how we earned all of the stuff that we have is by working for Mr. Lane. And uh, I appreciate him. I, 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 Of course, I was not expecting this kind of, um, well, anything, to be honest. I, uh, I didn't want to be rude and ask why he was giving me all this and helping me out the way he was, but... Uh, you know, again, that's just one of them things. I don't know why, but I appreciate everything that he's done. Okay, let's get back over to the house, shall we? Because we now have a lot of work to do. And I'm going to get to work on that. And I will see you here in a few. Alright, everybody. Well, we have rushed and rushed and rushed. And uh, looks like about 2 o'clock or so is when this rain's coming in. So I'm going to try to open this field up and do some cutting on it. And uh, maybe we can get a start on it. But it looks like we're going to see more than just a little bit of rain in the long run. Oh, here comes a whole line of vehicles again. we got to run this ditch. It's kind of rough. We'll just slow down here. But we're pulling in right here into our entrance anyway, so that that doesn't doesn't hurt us too much. But uh, we shall see here what comes of this. I don't know. I'm going to cut into this field, and I'm going to purposely do this in such a fashion that. Um, we hopefully will end up with a with really good wind channels so if we do get rain and everything uh, I, I the wind can get in between dry the ground out dry the crop out and uh, we should be good to go wow look at this this is quite the crop we grew. Quite the crop that we grew. I doubt we'll be able to get all the way around. Um, maybe we will. I don't know. We might be able to. We'll have to just see here. But, yeah, the old New Holland fired right up. And we did uh, a little bit of work over the winter to it. Nothing much. And a little bit in the spring, you know. 
put a new battery in it, change the oil. It's just little stuff. You know, the stuff you don't think about till it's getting close to needing to be done. And uh, she fired right up and was ready to rock and roll. So that's all that matters to me. You know, we might. This doesn't seem to be a real high-yielding crop, which, that's okay. It, uh, boy, it's dusty. It is dusty, though. We're almost all the way around, and we haven't even uh, secured a full bin yet, which is, which is surprising to me. But this is my first time ever harvesting flax. I don't know a whole bunch about it, but uh, yeah, we might be able to get quite a bit done because we won't have to stop as much and unload. Maybe we could get uh, a good chunk of this field taken care of before the rain comes in. Now, the big thing will be we just got to make sure that the combine is empty um, and it sitting outside really won't hurt anything. But the, the truck, on the other hand, we got to make sure that we uh, roll the tarp on it if it does start raining. And we're just now getting to almost 50%. So if we're just shy of 50%, we're just going to keep on running around. We'll run another run around the field here. That's not bad. That's not good, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. Well, anyway, I'll get to it. I'll see you in a bit. All right, everybody. Well, here comes the rain. So we got to get all this unloaded and done. Let's get this backed up here, put in what little bit we got. And we'll, uh, we're just going to shut her off right here. Okay, let's get that tarp rolled on this grain. There we go. Well, we got, oh, about just a little over half the field done before the rain hit. So, um, yeah, that turned out pretty good. Now, the nice thing is we can just go take this home and dump it real quick. Since it's, oh, about three quarters full. And, uh... Yeah, this turned out to be a pretty good day other than the rain. But, you know, we need the rain. It's been a while since we've had it. So, I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, I don't think it's going to last long, but it's going to mess us up for harvesting anything else today. Uh, it just... You know, bad time for the rain. It is going to mess us up, though, on harvesting anything else. So that part just, yeah, kind of sucks. But what do you do? You know, there's not much we can do about it. 
It is what it is. But uh, we'll see. Maybe things will improve. Um, and, you know, tomorrow maybe we can get that field done, move to the other one. We'll just have to see what the forecast is and make sure there's not going to be uh, a whole bunch of mud in our way. That'll be the that'll be the tough part is if there's mud, because then yeah we'll we'll get to sinking too much and have all kinds of troubles. All right, let's see if we can just go ahead and unload this. Should be able to just go ahead and unload it without opening the tarp. Uh, well, good thing we have ventilation in there, though. If we didn't have vents, it would uh, pull the tarp down through. It would be a really bad deal. So, it's a good thing we have ventilation. Okay, here any minute. Whoop, look this way. Wait till this comes down, and then, uh, you know, we'll have to... I guess we'll just temporarily park this inside the shed. I mean, it's got a cover, but... You know, it's better to have it overprotected than underprotected. Our combine, on the other hand, well, it's just going to have to sit there. Yeah, partially cloudy sky, and it's pouring down rain. Unbelievable. <laughs> there we go. That's in far enough. Yeah, listen to it rain. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, we'll see you then.